Hello, ladies. Welcome. Today we're talking about being stuck as a good friend and how to get out of that. Okay. So when you are dating somebody and you become someone girlfriend and boyfriend, or even when you are stuck on a hookup or when you're stuck on a romance or whatever you want to call it, let's say you just have somebody special and you like him and you guys are exclusive or even not, but he's not proposing and you want this to go towards marriage. How to get out of that? This is what we're going to be talking in this video. And let me know in the comments if this resonates with you. If you ever have been stuck in a girlfriend boyfriend situation or you've been dating somebody who didn't propose who you really wanted that the person would propose, okay? So by the way, for those of you who are new here, I'm Ellie Taylor, your dating and relationship coach. And um, I'm helping women getting to the millennials proposal. And if you need support towards that in your dating journey, you feel free to reach out. My email is in the description box for one-on-one -on -one coaching. Okay, let's get to the details. How to get out of girlfriend zone. So usually what happens, and again, let me know in the comments if this resonates with you, is that women are like they say nothing, they're in this boyfriend-girlfriend situation, but again, it also can be in a hookup situation. It can also be in a situation ship. It can be just like regular dating, but this one guy isn't proposing. So women are kind of like, you know, going through this and complaining and like maybe nagging a little bit but the guy is not doing anything he's dragging his feet and i know how frustrating this can feel really frustrating like what else can i do right like i mean even if you would propose to this guy he would still not accept it because and then how do you get the guy to propose so bad bad news is that you kind of like allow it to go to a point where he's comfortable maybe he has access to you to spend time with you he has access to you to kind of like um you know um have access to your time maybe even your body and then now he's like lazy so some guys literally are available for marriage but then they become lazy because they have no need to go to the next level because you don't require that okay that's one thing and um i know how hard that is when you are already in this boyfriend girlfriend situation because you maybe you're living with the guy you have intimacy with the guy and if you was to like walk away you would literally you know go through a breakup and cry and all of those things that I don't want you to go through and you don't want to go through, right? Like you like this guy, you love this guy, you want that he proposes. So I know how difficult the situation is for you where you kind of like want him to propose, but then he doesn't, but breaking up wouldn't be an option because you, you love this guy, right? So I know how frustrating this can be. And, you know, I've worked with so many clients who I hoped that the current boyfriend would propose, right? And another bad news is that if women don't do anything about this, like they don't do anything about it, literally, it slowly poisons and destroys the relationship because you would feel more and more frustrated, angry about this guy. And this anger can come out through active aggression like, you know, literally nagging, bashing on him, being like, you know, you know, proposing and you loving me, um, like active aggression, or it can come through passive aggression. Like it, aggression always comes up. Passive ag aggression looks like, you know, I don't care about you, I'm just gonna, and by the way, I'm a fan of circular dating, but if it comes from empowerment, yeah, sometimes passive aggression can be like, I'm gonna go out with other people, um, just to hurt you, you know, like just to hurt you, just to make you jealous. That is not co um, coming from a place of empowerment. And this is like usually not even like helping, you know, so because it doesn't come from a place of empowerment. If you're circular dating, just to make the other guy jealous, just to make him kind of like sad and angry, 
it won't work anyways. It's it's the energetic part. Like I, I always work with energy and strategy with my one-on-one clients. That's why they have so fast success, right? And you attract who you are. If you're full of anger, full of resentment, you just want the other person to be heard. Like it just won't work. Also, healthy masculine men, they just will see you straight through it. We're like, yeah, you just tried to make me jealous, you know? So they won't even be jealous. Anyways, long story short, it can be either active aggression that comes up and destroys the relationship because nagging, like yelling. Um, one of my clients told me, yeah, my, I yelled at my boyfriend because he didn't propose it. I'm like, you know, this is like active aggression. I'm not telling you to oh, keep it under control, but we have to do something before you destroy the relationship. And passive aggression can be like, you know, I'm just like going to go out with others just to hurt you. Not out of a place of empowerment because you feel like you deserve it because but because of um, wanting to hurt the guy, kind of like um, having those, you know, negative comments here and there, being resentful, like seeing him in negative light, all of that resentment, frustration, anger really toxifies your relationship. Either you're just dating, having a situationship, maybe a hookup, maybe just a boyfriend-girlfriend relationship, but all of that is going to destroy your relationship. It's not going to lead to a proposal. I can guarantee you that because I've worked with enough clients and I've seen enough examples where this happened or nearly happened and I was able to help my clients to prevent this. Okay, so I I hope you understand that just staying stuck as a girlfriend um, is not an option. Like you really have to claim your power. You have to claim um, your desire and um go another way okay and there is a few strategies that i usually give my one-on-one clients how to get out of this girlfriend trap okay i can share with you a little bit here but really it always depends on the situation sometimes it would take it would need for you to move out if you live with a guy sometimes the strategy would be circular dating but it's not always the right strategy because if a woman is physically already attached to a man you know like how when especially women have intimacy and they're attached to a guy physically with oxytocin even if she starts circulating other men she obviously wouldn't be sleeping with them she would always prefer this one guy because she's already attached to him like they're like already a union in the world of hormones okay so that would be the right strategy for a woman that has intimacy for example right and then there are also other strategies just like setting certain types of ultimatums but it always depends on the situation okay so i can't really give you like an over you know overall advice because for every person every situation and every even personality type it's something else. Some women are very um, anxious, attached, and they need a different strategy than women who are like a little bit distanced and a little bit more logical. You know what I mean, right? Like those anxious, attached women are very emotional, attached. They need a little bit of a different strategy than the other ones. So if you see yourself in the situation of being stuck in a boyfriend-girlfriend situation and the guy isn't proposing, and or maybe you you just have a situation ship you're not together or maybe you're just dating the guy he's your front runner you're dating him like for three months four months and he still didn't propose um you know reach out to me reach out for one-on-one coaching and let's come up with a plan for you that he does propose and um it, it is true some men are unavailable for marriage but a lot of are available for that but women just don't know how to close the deal. Like, I just want to use business language, sorry. <laughs> you know how in business people say, like, we close the deal. We kind of, like, you know, um, get what we want, get the sales done, right? Like, this is how business people talk. Anyways, um, but same in dating, right? Like, women just don't know how to close the deal. They don't know how to, like, get the ring and get the best guy, right? It's like, I don't want to compare this, but let me give you another example. It's like um, you really, really, you really, really want something, right? Um, even in your career, you want this job, and then you you tell me you want this job, but then you don't even apply for it. 
you don't even like go to the interview and then you told me like oh you know I didn't get the job and I'm like yeah you just don't know how to apply for a job like if you just don't even send any tags you don't even send an application you don't go to the interview of course, of course you don't get the job but then you might tell me but I'm doing all of the things I'm supposed to do I'm I'm really nice to this guy I give him so much I give him business yeah you are using the career tools for dating this is now not how you close the deal in dating um you know like you're using your career tools for dating that doesn't work that will backfire and that will just um attract low effort feminine men who don't want to commit you know so this is not the tools in the strategy you're supposed to be using in dating in dating you have different tools different strategies based on evolutionary and based on hormones and the male and female mindset okay so again if you are wanting a proposal from the man that you love the man that you like the man that you're dating that you have a situation with or even that you have like a boyfriend girlfriend relationship with but he's kind of dragging his, his feet or maybe you're already engaged but he's dragging his feet to marriage reach out for one-on-one -on -one coaching i know how can how to help you out of that and get the guy to you know finally go to the marriage right finally go to the next level because there are empowered ways to do it without destroying the relationship like really healthy ways without destroying them with a guy still it's his idea right right like i mean how amazing is that when a guy thinks it's his idea and um yeah he just goes to the next level so if you want that if you want um to be proposed to from the man that you really really love do it in a way that he thinks it's his idea and um you know choosing you in a really empowered way reach out like it's it's you gonna thank me forever because if a guy marries you because you nagged enough it's not romantic if a guy marries you because you you know you yelled at him enough it's not romantic if a guy marries you because you propose it's also not romantic like i know my women you want the man to give you the world to be crazy about you to be obsessed with you right and this is what happens with my one-on-one -on -one clients so i help a lot of ladies that are stuck in boyfriend girlfriend situations and i know i can help you too so that's why i reach out if you have this issue and yeah thank you so much for watching if you know anybody who has um this issue too being stuck in girlfriend boyfriend feel free to forward um the video and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it okay see you in the next one bye bye